Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be the second part of the top three favorites video that I made previously, like a couple weeks ago. I'm not really sure when this video is going to be going up, but I do have a series here on my channel where I give my top three favorite whatever category we're going to be talking about. So today we're going to be doing my top three favorite face brushes. So I am going to give one little disclaimer about this video and it is one of the brushes that I'm going to be talking about is actually not a face brush, but I use it for a face brush. So I just want to throw that out there so that I don't get any little corrections. You know, makeup is just, you know, your own expression. You have to use the tools that are comfortable for you. And I really found this one brush that I'm excited to talk to you guys about for my face, and it's really not a face brush. But you'll see what I'm talking about. So if you guys want to see my top three current face brushes, then keep on watching. Gonna miss my parents when I move out though, not gonna lie. Great. So, two of these brushes I've never mentioned to you guys before. I've used them on my channel, I believe, but I just never used them. I've never talked to you guys about them before. So I just figured I'd mention them because it, they really help me do my makeup. And two of them I use on a daily basis. One of them I use um, more so when I do, like, powder foundations. Um, let me jump in with that brush. So this is the Morphe M439. This is their buffing brush and their bristles are so like soft, but they're just perfectly packed to get the perfect buffing effect when you're doing your makeup. So um, I normally use a powder foundation from Tarte. When I use this brush specifically to blend the powder foundation in, it just erases my pores. Totally erases my pores. It just makes everything look flawless and together and I really like this brush. I normally don't put on like liquid foundation. You can use this with liquid foundation as well, but I normally use a beauty blender or like a miracle complexion sponge from Real Technique to blend in my makeup. But when I use something like this, it just makes the makeup go a lot quicker. So in the morning before I go to the gym, I just like roll out of bed, whip out this brush and do a real quick buffing for like not even 10 seconds on my face. And it just really gets the product going and looking great. So this brush is definitely one of my favorites. Here is a brush that I have definitely mentioned before on my channel. This is the e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush. This is an oldie but a goodie. This brush is so affordable. It's definitely under $5. I'm not sure of the exact price. But this brush is the perfect tapered shape to get right here underneath the eyes. I love this brush to wipe away any product um, after I set. I usually go in and set my entire face with my damp sponge, um, but there is leftover powder sometimes, so to get right here underneath my eyes, I just swipe away with this brush, and it is awesome. I also swipe away any contour cleanup powder that I put right here on my face. I swipe that away with this. I just feel like this brush is such a multitasking type of brush. If I feel like I went a little too hard on my blush, I'll take like a highlighting powder, like a, not a highlighting powder, that's the wrong word, a brightening powder, um, or like a little bit of my foundation powder, I'll put it on just a little bit, and I just kind of defuse with this brush. Ultimately, I use this every single day with my makeup. Um, this brush is just awesome. And another thing, the fact that it's from e.l.f., it doesn't shed on me. It doesn't fall apart. It doesn't, I have no issues at all with this brush and I've washed this brush a thousand times. Um, and it's just, it's just perfect. I love this brush. If you guys are looking for a really affordable, good brush that you can use to set right underneath your eyes or to do any of the things I, I talked about, um, definitely pick this up. Uh, and give it a shot because even if you don't like it, it's only a couple bucks. So I think it's definitely worth the try. All right, so the last one is the one that I was talking about that is not necessarily a face brush, but I use it for a face brush. And it is this one right here. You can barely even see it. I'm going to do close-ups of all the brushes. But this brush right here is a very small... I don't know if this brush was considered a, because it doesn't have a name on it. This is from the black and pink Amazon pack that I always talk about on my channel. I will link it down below, but um, I can't remember if this is their eyeliner brush or a lip brush. Either way, this is not technically a face brush, but I use it for a face brush. And what I do is, after I go in with my foundation and everything's all done and I spray my face to set it, everything is pretty much wet. 
So I'll go in, uh, I kind of pounce out all of my makeup to make it look skin-like, and then I take this brush while my face is still wet, and I just go right around the sides of my nose to take out any buildup of foundation that may have fallen in that area. Um, I just feel like it really helps to take care of like the cakey look all here around your nose. I think you guys know what I'm talking about throughout the day um, of wearing your makeup. If you look right here on the side of your nose, you kind of get like this little buildup of concealer and foundation and stuff like that. So this kind of takes it out before it can even start building up. And what I like is that it is so small that while it takes that product out, it doesn't really disturb the rest of your makeup. So when you take this brush away after swiping, you're not gonna see like a weird line on your face. It literally just gets right in that crease and that's it. So this has gotta be one of my favorite brushes. Um, it's such like a good brush. If you guys have never tried that before, try it and let me know if it works for you, but it really has worked for me. It's something that I kind of discovered these past couple of months. Loving this brush. It is definitely one of my favorites. And that concludes this video, you guys. These are my top three favorite face brushes right now. I really love these brushes. And again, they are all affordable. They are all still being sold. Um, and I will try to link all of these down below so that you can find them easily if you're really interested in trying them out. This video isn't sponsored, by the way. I truly love these brushes. Um, and I just, I also love the fact that they're so affordable. I'm not paying $70 for a brush, you know what I mean? Um, so definitely give these a shot if you want to try something new, if you're looking for something new in your makeup routine, I definitely recommend these brushes. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I'm very appreciative of everybody who watches my videos, um, of everybody who I usually see, like, comments from, like, the, uh, reoccurring comments. I definitely recognize people that always watch my videos. And, um, it just makes me feel like we're having, like, we're growing, like, our own little community here. So, it makes me feel really good. It's starting to turn into what I wanted it to turn into, so I'm really happy about that. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that little notification bell so that you guys can get notified every time I upload a video. And I'll see you in my next one. Thanks, guys.